It's Alana with Celeb Secrets, and I am so excited to be talking to Chris Lane. And just before we start, I have to say that, Chris, you were the first ever country concert that I went to. I saw you in 2018 at Irving Plaza with Mason Ramsey, Gabby Barrett, and it had a big influence on my love for country music. So just oh had gosh. to get that out there. <laughs> Thank you. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, of course. I mean, you've been very busy. Raising kids is a lot, but with this new EP from Where I'm Sipping, you you wrote four out of the five songs. That's got to feel really special. So tell me what it was like to be so heavily involved in this writing process. Yeah, I think, you know, early in my career from my first record, then over to the second record, um, I only wrote maybe a handful of the songs and and that partly being I was spending 150, 200 days uh, on the road touring. Um, so I don't want to say I deprioritized songwriting. I just didn't have as much time for it. Um, but I think that's the best part about me taking uh, a lot of time off is that I could prioritize that. And uh, I feel like I've got the strongest songs of my career. Um, and again, these are just the first five of, of many to come, but um, I'll probably end up being a writer on a majority of them. And and while I always want to record uh, the best song possible, um, I felt like these were were um, some really great ones to start with. And I'm so proud of, of every single song. I know, they're absolutely amazing. So what made you decide to put out Find Another Bar as the first song? You put that out in August. What what about that song did you really like? Um, well, that's a song that I've had for quite some time that I've written. Um, it was just the first song that we recorded. Um, and everybody at the label really loved that one a lot. So we, we uh, recorded it, put it out first. Um, we knew that we had uh, these other four that we were going to be releasing shortly uh, after that. But wanted to throw that song out in the world for, you know, I, I've had a lot of love songs in a row from Take Back Home Girl or For Her, Take Back Home Girl, uh, I Don't Know About You, Big Plans. Um, so I felt like it's country music. Everybody's got to have a good breakup song, even though that's not uh, the point in my life that I'm at right now. And I'm thankful for that. Um, I definitely know a lot about it. <laughs> and uh, I feel like uh, every country artist has got to have one good uh, breakup song. So it felt like a good time for it. Yeah, and I, I feel like a lot of these songs have a lot of different meanings and messages, but overall, what would you say was your inspiration for the album and the theme that you're seeing now? Yeah, I think for me, I always try to think from a live perspective, what, what's gonna feel great live? Um, um, I already felt like these were, were these songs were, were strongly written, but um, I felt like they were also gonna fit really well into my set. I like to keep a high energy um, if you remember back in 2018, that, that that's what I try to do. Um, so I feel like they're going to be good additions uh, to the set. For the most part, I wanted uh, the music to feel happy. Um, yeah, and just, just have that good energy to it. You've been traveling a lot and performing everywhere. So what has it been like to get on the road and be with your fans and interact with your fans? And also, you know, raising a family at the same time. How do you kind of balance all of that? Yeah, I think for me, uh, finding a perfect balance is one of those things I'm still working on. Um, but I think just pulling back from the road and not doing 150 shows a year has definitely helped um, balance that uh, touring and, and family life. And then uh, we also tried to bring the kids out on the road. Lauren tried to come out on the road. It, it was a little hectic, so we haven't tried that since. But um um, yeah, I think the beautiful part is taking just a step back from touring so much. You know, this year I probably did maybe 60 to 70 shows um, in comparison to uh, hundreds of shows a year. Um, so I feel like I'm still trying to find that perfect balance, but um, feeling good about it. And can we talk a little bit about your kids? Do they like your music? Do they realize that you're a performer and and what has been the reaction when you have been able to bring them out to some shows i think baker uh, who just turned one obviously he's still figuring it out he has no clue I, dutton is really just starting to figure it out now because uh over the last month or two he's always like daddy's songs and no, it make it makes my heart uh so full to know that and and yes he's he's been out to a few shows 
His only request has been Old McDonald's, so I've had to pull that out at a show, um, which is funny. But yeah, uh, he he's loving it right now, and and that makes me so happy. That's so sweet. Well, I do want to talk a little bit more about your collaborations. I feel like this year has been a very big year of collaborations for you. I mean, Lauren Elena, Scott McCreary, Dustin Lynch. So what is the collaborations process kind of like for you? When do you know when you want to collaborate with someone and how did you kind of make these happen? Um, well, my first taste of a collaboration came uh i mean probably 2017 or 18 whenever it was uh that i had tori kelly sing on take back home girl um i've always been a huge fan of collaborations um and country hasn't always i feel like we've, we're kind of catching up in a way um but there haven't been a ton of collaborations not like other genres of music so we've kind of figured that out that uh Collaborations are an easier way to get a song to move a, a little bit quicker than normal because you got two artists on the song. Um, so I, I think, you know, the the Scotty McCreary jumped in on a Small Town on it. Him and I are from North Carolina. We felt like that song really fit um, who we both were. So I felt like he was the first person that popped into my mind. I sent it to him. He loved it. Uh, Dance in the Moonlight. Um, was never meant to be a feature, but uh, we we wanted to try it out and and felt like we could hear Lauren laying on the song and she killed it and I love her. We were both on the same label at the time, um, and then Dustin Lynch had tequila on a boat and much like the Scotty thing happened for me, he just called up and said, "Hey, I got this song. I feel like uh, it fits what you do. Would you be a part of it with me?" And I've been a big fan of Dustin's for quite some time, so of course I wanted to jump on that song. Absolutely. These collaborations have been amazing. And also this year you transitioned to a new label, Red Street Records. So what has that been like in terms of your music and, and working yeah. with them and those people in particular? Yeah, it's been incredible. Um, I feel like I've got a great team of people around me. Um, and I think it's going to allow, it's allowed me to have a little bit, bit more um creative control and freedom and and to write about the things that I want to write about and record the songs I want to record. And uh, yeah, I think it's also in a, in a timely manner going to allow me to release the most music I have uh, in my entire career. And nobody's more excited about that than I am. We are approaching the end of the year. I want to know what are you most proud of from this past year that you've done? It could be a song. It could be just something that happened this year. What are you most proud of? I think our son Baker, who again just turned one, but um, uh, we weren't necessarily planning on having two kids this close together, but it's been the biggest blessing to our lives. And uh, uh, yeah, I'd probably say that's probably what I'm most proud of. And then, you know, on, on uh, an artist side of things, just getting these first five songs out there. I'm, I'm loving the reaction that I'm getting so far. Um, and can't wait to get others out there.